What's going on YouTube? Just now right here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you on 13.7, iOS 13.6, 13.6.1 and 13.5.1 even on A12 and A13 devices. This video is brought to you by Anyfix, a software that allows you to fix iOS system errors, iTunes synchronization errors, it allows you to put your phone in recovery mode and exit recovery mode and so on. Check it out in the link below. So as you probably remember this developer in here announced an exploit that works for 13.6.1 13.7 and stuff like that even on the iPhone 11 Pro Max with custom built kernel read and write primitives. I finally talked with this developer in a relatively long conversation and they explained to me everything we need to know about the vulnerability, when we're going to get it, what is going to be the process for releasing it and of course what it can do and trust me this is a very good one that we will be able to use in order to update the uncover. So just a quick recap for those of you who are new here, the developer posted quote iOS 13.6 6.1 iPhone 11 Pro Max using custom built kernel read and write primitives completely got rid of the TFP0 method. I'll make it public when it's appropriate, though we didn't know exactly how they're going to make it public or when it's appropriate. They also later confirmed quote 13.7 is okay, hashtag jailbreak. So this vulnerability basically works on 13.5.1 and it also works on 13.6, 13.6.1 and 13.7 but most importantly this one doesn't work on iOS 14. Do not update to iOS 14. This is very very important because if you do, this vulnerability will not be compatible with your device. So let's see exactly what he explained. At first I asked whether this is going to be useful since it doesn't have TFP0 for using the Mac VM functions which are required for a jailbreak and of course it took them a while to respond to my message because they didn't see it but then they said quote what I mean by custom build kernel read and write primitive it's a technique which offers read and write of the kernel memory prior to the establishment of TFP0. The TFP0 won't work on spray memory anymore since iOS 13.6. Apple improved zone required check so it was solely for the purpose of bypassing that mitigation. For the sake of jailbreak I built a version that has been tested stable and exports TFP0. Had no problems to perform the Mac VM functions. I'll share the exploit with Pawn, basically the developer behind the uncover, after Apple fully patched all vulnerabilities that have been used. I'm following Apple's term and conditions so no discussion or public disclosure before Apple admitted permission. And they also said quote eventually the source code and write-up will be released on Zekop's website for others to study. So then I asked what about PAC? And of course I am disclosing the messages between me and the developer because I asked for permission to do so. So then I asked about PAC because you probably know that the uncover is most popular on A12 and A13 devices. For the other devices there is of course the check range so there's really no point for Uncover unless you want the mobility. But Uncover really shines on the A12 and A13 devices which are the latest devices available like the iPhone 11, 11 Pro, iPhone XS, XS Max and stuff like that. And those have PAC or point authentication codes which has to be bypassed before tweaks would run. And they said quote, hmm, all I can say is that the exploit provides the capability to read and write kernel memory. I'm not fully appreciate the current situation of tweak development. So the PAC is not not bypassed in this exploit. We would still need a PAC bypass like those discussed by Brennan Azad in here at Black Hat 2020. I don't know if any of the methods in here are still working. In fact, I believe none of them are still working, but we're going to see. Anyways, finally, I asked them if this works as of iOS 14.0.1 and they said, quote, a critical part was patched in iOS 14.0. At the moment, it only works before 14. So basically, if you want to jailbreak with Uncover, anytime soon, definitely stay out of iOS 14. If you want to jailbreak iOS 14 and you have an A9 or A9X device or lower, CheckRain already works. Other than that, do not update. So yes, the result is like this. We're going to get this vulnerability in here which is usable for a jailbreak. We cannot update Uncover with it and the developer will send the vulnerability to Pawn, the developer behind Uncover, so that they can update Uncover once Apple fully patches it. So yeah, that's basically it. I'm very happy that I was able to to talk with the developer about this vulnerability and what will be the schedule for releases and stuff like that. So this is looking very very promising for the jailbreak community. Do not update to iOS 14. Thank you for watching. I am GS Now. Till the next time. Peace out.